Hi guys, it's Jessica. Uh, wearing the same clothes because it's the same day and trying to make a, a few videos um, or at least one more. Uh, if I don't end up uploading this today because of fighting with my computer, um, yeah, I'm wearing the same thing. <laughs> and it literally, I just moved Lola because she was snoring. So I moved her. I'll show you just a little ways away into the hallway to hopefully cut down on the sound with the snoring but then Toby came in here and he went under the desk and he's chewing on his bone so I made an effort and uh, yeah <laughs> that's the way it goes here uh, but I am going to do a tag today um, this is the Dolly beverage tag and it was created by uh, Oak, 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 I can never say it, like I can hear it in my mind, um, uh, is that Tatsuko? Is that Tutso? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I just really have a hard time with that username, but I will leave links to her and the original questions I will put in the, in the uh, description. So, um, I figured I would have a doll with me. I'll probably switch out because it does, this involves talking about different dolls. So I may um, switch out to some others, but uh, uh, I went and got Stefan. He hasn't uh, been on video for a while and he is one of my favorite guys. So he's come to hang out. He is a Rumpel doll Morpheo head on a doll she pure body. The old, He's a new old Dolce Pure Body. <laughs> so it's the older one, but it doesn't have the waist joint. So it's the newer old Dolce Pure Body. So, okay. Um, all right. So uh, the questions um, looks like there's seven questions. And if I'm looking here, because I have it up on my computer, so I'm glancing over, and I wrote myself notes down here too. <laughs> so uh, number one, Hot Coco. Who is your sweetest character and why? Uh, so, sweetest character, uh, I wrote down, uh, I wrote down three. Um, Keon, Stefan, Stefan, <laughs> and Elowen. Uh, as, you know, what I was looking at my characters, you know, uh, who is genuinely the most sincerely sweet um uh and <clears throat> yeah <laughs> okay sorry guys got distracted there okay uh the question was who is your sweetest character um i chose stefan as one of them i i see him as a uh really sweet really easygoing um uh guy uh, I do think that he's younger too I think of him as um, maybe 19 or, or early 20s just kind of a, a younger guy that's a little bit shy um, and uh, yeah I, I, I really think of him as really sweet um, Kian and I'm going to try to grab her here I, I had her over here because I'm trying to I had her with some fabrics over here because I want to make her uh, her own corset. This is Kian. Um, she is my doll Pam, a ruby, um, and uh, she is shelled into this Yo SD. <laughs> um, uh, and I, I attempted. You can't really see her back there. Maybe a little bit. See my elbow back there. My twiggling elbow. Uh, I attempted to make her be Kian, and it just doesn't work because Kian is just a really sweet, gentle, caring type of character, um, and that doll just does not, that doll is very intense, and that doll is Scarlet. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking that uh, uh, down the line that I will be um, uh, eventually shelling her into a Artifacts Kindred um, twiggling uh, Oryx, uh, which has very Asian features, uh, because this is a, um, um, 
a Buddhist scholar is how I usually describe her. So um, I really like the a sculpt. I would really like to have a sculpt with more Asian type features. Um, the other one uh, would be a um, Mary Doll Round Fang, which I also would really like to have. She would be, she'd just be really excellent as this character too, um, because she's just, she looks, she's just, that face sculpt is just such a sweet, she just looks so sweet. She's maybe a little more um, stylized and doll-like in my mind compared to Twiggling Oryx, um, and she is shorter. Um, I still think that, you know, she could be, the size is, is not so, she's not so short that she couldn't be with my other SDs. Um, but those are kind of, you know, where I am um, with that. Anyways, got off on a tangent. <laughs> I knew there's going to be lots of tangents. I, I guess that's, that's how I do videos. <laughs> so that's little Kian. Um, and she's my little doll, Pam or Ruby. And uh, she is super cute. She has a face up by Denali Wind. And she came with a sleeping head too, and that doll is on um, the doll zone uh, deer body, the little the little USC deer body, and just super, super adorable hybrid. Um, okay. Um, and then yeah, Elowen was the other option. I don't have her over here. She is Neela's little sister, uh, and she's just a very young child, and she um, uh, is a, a very, very sweet child. Uh, like, Neela, Neela's sweet, but she's a troublemaker and mischievous, and <laughs> Elowen is pretty, is pretty sweet and, um, a very good child. <laughs> um, okay, number two is, uh, wine. Name a character with lots of layers. Um, and again, I chose three characters uh, that's, that are characters I think of that just have a lot of, uh, layers, um, there's a lot of convolutions in their story and their, uh, the type of individuals they are. Um, so Danu, number one, uh, probably in a lot of ways my most complicated character. Um, you know, I mean, a character can have a lot of life events that happen to them, and you could call that complicated, uh, but Danu is just, there's a lot of aspects. She has a lot of different, she has a lot of motivations, um, and uh, those might not always be so apparent. There's many levels to, uh, to what motivates her, um, so she can be very, um, she can be a very sweet and motherly type of character, but she is, she has a plan and she has the potential and is, <laughs> can be very controlling about how things um, should be. She's, so she can definitely be very manipulative that way. Um, and she has her plots and she has her schemes her schemes, and she executes them over thousands of years to, to achieve her goals. Um, so uh, face value and when you might meet her uh, to the full depth of who she is uh, are, are, are two different things. So um, Alondria is uh, Herla's mother and um, She's that this character really surprises me uh, with the the things that that she has been through, the directions that she chooses to go, um, and the things that she has. I think that she is somebody who has done the best with what's been around her um, and what her options are and what information she's given. Uh, but uh, she's very complicated that way. Um, and again what how when you meet her it might be really different from how she really is so um and then i chose woden uh is a is a very very complicated character um very many layers to him lots of history as well um and woden in some ways is is a bit of uh, a villain um but uh you know 
right and wrong, uh, evil or good, you know, it's kind of relative sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, nope, don't turn off computer. It started to dim. I don't want to lose this page. Um, number three, water. Name a sculpt you love blank, but can be versatile to. Um, so that's pretty easy for me. Uh, the, the, the face sculpt that I don't mind being blank and I love it just as much um, and can be faced up many different ways um, and, and pull off a lot of different looks uh, is Twiggling Ingenue. Um, and I have quite a few Twiggling Ingenues and I think that they can look very, very different too. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six ingenue, and another one on the way, <laughs> another one pre-order. Um, so she can look very different. So here's two here. Um, this girl back here, you know, with the, especially with her eyebrows, she can look very stern. She looks a lot more serious, I think, um, with this face up. Um, and I think she tends to look a little more innocent with this face up that I gave her on this one. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, my just a beautiful, beautiful face sculpt, uh, and can be made up to look lots of different ways. Um, other, other sculpts that I have that I adore blank. Um, my two favorites are, um, my Rumpel doll Morphe again, Morpheo again, uh, Stefan, um, and my, my Abaddon. Uh, so both of my Rumpel doll sculpts are those, they're gorgeous. They could never have a face up and they are beautiful, beautiful sculpts. Um, I don't know if I would say that they meet that criteria necessarily of versatile. Um, I honestly haven't seen enough, uh, owner uh, photos to have seen a lot of variability and mine have only had the one face up that um uh angsty penguin a uh, red iris atelier has given them uh and her style her style of face up is very similar to the artist that makes that make these sculpts um the way he does his face ups i feel um, I think are very similar, you know, lots of face texturing and really detailed brows, um, you know, lots of hair detail. Oh, that didn't really... Yeah, like the eyebrow work that Mindy does is just gorgeous. Love him. He's beautiful. So, yeah, they, those are really beautiful sculpts, uh, and if they never even had a um, a face up. They're just so, they're just so well sculpted. Um, yeah, just beautiful. Number four, soda. Name a sculpt that makes you happy and bubbly. Um, so I have a, there's a lot of my dolls that fall into that category of, of just like really happy and cute and just really make me smile because they're so freaking adorable. Um, all of my, uh, all of my clover dolls, you know, my clover dolls, dragons, those things are so freaking cute. I mean, you just cannot look like every picture I take of them is just adorable and cute and they just are so, um, so happy, I guess. So happy. Um, but, uh, I kind of choose like a, another sculpt that just looks so happy. Um, I love my, uh, I'm not going to try to get her out of there because I will knock everything down. <laughs> so I'm just not even going to attempt it. Um, I might be able to grab. So um, these are my two Neelas, uh, my OSD scale and the MSD scale. So Jury 11 sculpt is just this really uh, happy uh, but mischievous. Uh, and I, it just makes me, I love it when I look at her like that's Neela. Like she is just a little, 
she's really cute and uh, really sweet. She can be really sweet, but she is just always, you know, trying to find something to do. And so sometimes she's one of those kids that is is she'll try she'll entertain herself, <laughs> but it might not always be the way you would like her to. That's <laughs> what I'd say. Um, but this here, um, this was. Uh, this was my, this is my Mishi's doll, Dreamy, um, and, um, when I saw her, it was like, it was like this artist, I know that, you know, she wouldn't have had any, like, connection or, you know, the, the drawings that I did of Neela, um, but it was like, it was like she looked at those drawings and made this doll, like, it, it was just like, there's Neela, um, so she is just She's got a little natural smile, and she's just so freaking happy and cute. I just love her. Um, so she just screams like Elowen, and Elowen uh, and the Mishi's doll sculpt. She she's very sweet. She looks very sweet, but this girl just looks. Um, she looks happy and uh, energetic, and yeah. <laughs> Very active child. <laughs> okay, you gonna stay there and not fall? All right. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Oh, number five, Margarita. Uh, a company you own the most of. So, um, I actually went through and had to look at a few because there's they're very close um but the one that i own the most of is artifacts kindred and if i count the ones that are um that i'm waiting for you know that they, they still they haven't come in but i'm waiting for if i count those then i have 13 twiggling um artifacts kindred twiggling dolls um and then the second one that I have the most of is Doll Zone. Um, I have 12 Doll Zone. If I added Doll Zone and Doll Chateau together as one, which a lot of times I kind of do in my mind, um, then they would, Doll Zone, Doll Chateau would be the, the company that I own the most dolls from. I mean, like the, f the first doll that I ever, you know, really, really wanted uh, if, if it could have been my first doll, it would have been my first doll, was the, um, the Doll Chateau Christina with the, with the embossing and, like, that doll, if she could have been my first doll, I would have had her first. I love that doll. Um, but, yeah, Doll Zone, Doll Chateau, for one of the first loves in the hobby. Um, and then the third company, so the top three, um, I tended to do that for a lot of these questions. I chose the top three. Um, the third is Lily Cat, and I own ten Lily Cat Cerise dolls. Uh, so, yeah, company I own the most of. But like I said, if I put Doll Zone and Doll Chateau together, they would have been the number one spot. <laughs> um, number six, Butterbeer. A sculpt you love, but it's hard to get. Um, oh, okay. Yep, I wrote I wrote it here um, because I can never. It's it's Aha's. Um, I don't know if you say that right, but the company I can never remember. I I know people. Um, it's it's La Legende de Temps, and I think people. Um, just do the, just do the acronym LLT or something. I think they call it LLT is what a lot of people call it. La Legende de Temps and Ahas, Ahas in Tan. Um, let me turn my camera here and, um, I don't know. Like I, 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 this is one of the, the persons that I watch on, um, Instagram. I have it for, to set to notification so that if they, if this doll comes back up for sale, um, 
it came up um, I don't know if it says here anymore it was it was a you know I had a pre-order maybe a year and a half or something like that and um, yeah it hasn't come back up available but yeah LLT this is what people um, shorten it to um, I like Ludwig too but Ahaz is is uh, the body too like the body I love the body it's gorgeous um, and it's 75 centimeters and everything I've ever seen it just poses amazing um, it comes with this little uh, <laughs> oak leaf to cover up the man bits which is like the most amazing thing ever um, it, I, you could want him just for that but um, he doesn't he doesn't cost $9,999, uh, but I think he's easily, especially when tan, he was probably a $1,000 doll. I just don't even doubt it. Um, so, like, if I could get a hold of him, oh my goodness. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's super gorgeous. Um, um, the artist... She has uh, some photos on her Instagram and places that he's gorgeous. He's an absolutely gorgeous doll, and um, I, I he's one of those that I'm always looking at on the secondhand market and to see if there just happened to be one that pops up. Um, and yeah, I I would. Uh, really like to someday have one of him I guess he's probably at this point I'd put him in that grail criteria you know he's gonna be really expensive he's gonna be really difficult to get and yeah <laughs> oops sorry guys bumping ya hope that wasn't like super loud and annoying too when you like smack it and it sounds like train wreck um okay I think that there's one last question Number seven, coffee. Uh, a dolly YouTuber you just can't get enough of. Um, I would I would have to say that I I I don't know. It is hard. I don't want to like make anybody feel bad. There's a lot of YouTubers that I really really love um, and enjoy their content and watch every single one of their videos. There's a lot of you, um, but uh, the first. YouTube Dolly YouTuber that I started watching um, that that even like this concept of making videos for dolls was Denali Wind um, and I love her content it was the year year and a half or so where she didn't post was like the saddest thing ever <laughs> and I was so sad when she uh, quit making videos um, so I hope that she will uh, come come back and visit at least once in a while. I know she's gone away um, to school and uh, has a uh, her life is very uh, different right now um, and uh, and busy. So, but hopefully she'll come back and be able to make a few dolly videos for us here and there. Uh, so, but yeah, there's lots of you guys, and um, I don't want to. If I try to name names, I'll forget somebody and I'll feel bad. So I'm, just not, I'm not gonna try to name a bunch of people that if if I if I follow you, then I yeah, there's a good chance that I watch you. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right, that was the last one. I think I'll go ahead and cut it off here, and I hope you guys are having a great day. If you want to do it, then do it. I'm not going to tag anybody because I'm not sure who's done this or not, but if you haven't done it, please do it. I like, I like any and all videos. So, all right, take care. Bye guys.